So this is it, Warsaw Strasse, Saturday night. Let's see how crowded is the area. Yeah, some freaks. Deswegen stehen wir hier. Aggressive. Anyway. Wenn ihr heute spottet, wenn ihr euch heute lustig macht, ihr macht euch nicht über mich lustig. Ich vergebe euch. Wir vergeben euch. Wir lieben euch trotzdem. Aber wenn ihr das nicht annimmt, dann werdet ihr eines Tages vor dem Herrn stehen. Eines Tages werdet ihr den Herrn mit dem Herrn stehen. So not very busy, extremely not busy actually. Very not busy, it's only 10 o'clock in the evening, it should be the busiest now. Mm -hmm. This is the Warsaw Strasse station, the U-Bahn. And the S bahn basically. <laughs> you see, in Germany, they don't really put out too much of public lighting. They don't really put it much out. They're kind of saving it, so it's not very bright. It's never very bright in the evening. Has <clears throat> a pretty romantic vibe to it in an industrial post apocalyptic way, to be fair. I'm still surprised how not busy it is for Saturday. I've been here every Saturday and sometimes you can't even walk. So we're heading towards this area called Suicide Circus. 
anyway, it's a uh, let's say it's uh, a couple of bars and clubs and skate parks all joined together somehow. The entrance is a bit further down. Homelessness is increasing, unfortunately. I can feel the difference between two years ago and now. scooter <laughs> so we're entering the area called suicide circus Little fast foods going on. Of course, graffiti all over the place, obviously. Has its charms. Anyhow, you have Suicide Club over here. Slices of Doom, Napoli style pizza. <laughs> nice. See the lighting is quite bad, not a lot of light going on, also not a lot of crime, loads of police so basically I can just be alone with the phone in hand like this, nothing is going to happen, very safe. So this is how like a club queue looks, it's very frequent for people to queue to enter clubs here in Berlin. Haubentaucher, I think so. I think that's how we pronounce it. I don't know. Christophe Boucher. I'm such an ignorant, I don't know who this guy is. Looks like Hemingway though.
so we're going towards the outdoors skate park. So not very busy the skate park, a couple of tables. Mm. So it looks like chill vibe to this place this suicide circus area because it's a bit towards the right of the main artery the main Warsaw street <clears throat> and uh, you can just uh, mix the both uh, advantages being close to the center being next to a big circulation uh, artery and also being a bit secluded Yeah. yeah. We have some indoor climbing apparently. Let's see if I can get in. Apparently not. Or it's complicated and I don't want to bother. So a bit of traffic going on. This kind of has like a seaside vibe to it, even though it's in the center of Berlin. And now let's go to Simon Dachstrasse. Simon Dachstrasse 
It has a lot of little restaurants, little bars, little spetis, which speti means like a kiosk, like an off-license for those in the UK, or a kiosk yeah. for anything else. For example, this one. This one, Esperanto. It's a spetti. Look inside. The Italian place is called Lambretta. I think you can't see it anyway. <clears throat> I was surprised by how bad the light, the public light is, to be fair. And it's not really bad, it's like they're saving up power, they're having this eco friendly mentality of not using much energy and cutting costs and probably better for the environment as well. Not, not gonna go into that trope because that's super complicated. We have the lights are very dim always. This is Paul's metal egg. <clears throat> Got a sore throat. Well, People in Berlin go to the restaurants. 
and it's not expensive, it's quite affordable still. So a place like this you should expect 20 euros. You can still do it to 20 euros. Maybe 15, starting from 15. Oh, it's a good price for a restaurant in a big city. Yeah, all kinds of stuff like fit box. Fit box is like kind of a working out as a fashion thingy. Look when you cross in Germany. Like the drivers respect the rules and you should respect as well. So Asian food, a lot of these Asian places. <coughs> I think it started to rain. Yep. So, <clears throat> all these buildings are like 30s, 1920s, okay, 1900 built, but there are some new developments every now and then. This is like pretty far from the main street, main boulevard. And this is like middle class area of Berlin, more or less. It has some really okay new developments, to be fair.
and across the road we have Rock Cafe Halford basically just gonna cross and it's pouring with rain at the moment of course I have no umbrella So yeah, this is a bar I recommend actually. Rock Cafe Halford is a bar I really really recommend. There it is, this is how it looks like. So it's on the corner of Boxhangerstrasse with Mainzerstrasse. The sign is really faded here. Right, I better hide from the rain and uh, get myself a drink. <laughs> and yeah, so far so good. So what?